bitch. <laughs> Hello everyone, Naza the Hedgehog here, and welcome back to more Trails of Cold Steel 4. I do have someone here, so sign in. Oh, uh, this is Dr. Starlight, sitting in a chair with Naza on my lap. <laughs> oh, as this, as well as that may be, it's good to get away from my project, because I managed to get Right. Well, not to mention that, one, you haven't been here for a while. Two, there's a, been a lot of situations been going on. And three, I think the viewers have been missing you. Missing me? Mm-hmm. Out of anyone, why would they be missing me? You are my husband, after all. You gotta remember that. One other thing. Not that is true. You're the only one that I'm legally married to. You know that. Yeah. And I was told about some sort of contract that was about the size of a book, though I wasn't given the entire details or none of it. Oh, yeah. Uh... Mephiles and the Scourge of the Past made a book, a contract, size of a book that's 600 pages. Oh my. Mm hmm. I presume that is their way of adding on to the contract. <sighs> Whatever the contract was about, mind giving me a little it? Well, the thing is, is that the Scourge of the Past saw that I was getting a little too soft, so he decided to make a contract to try to turn me back into my evil self. And so, yeah, I was supposed to be with him for a while, but then that, um, that has, uh, finished, apparently. Um, then, uh, went back to Mephilus because, uh, apparently, according to the contract, uh, every time Mephilus shows up, I'm supposed to be his throne. <laughs> yeah, page, on page, uh, page 501, paragraph 4. Oh my. Yeah, I, I ha I'm still not finished with the book because it's 600 pages and... Uh, oh, who knows what's next? Yeah. I know that, uh... Is my own next? Who knows? Oh, boy. Yep. And I know that, uh, Boom Sonic, uh... He's supposed to be gone, um, and, uh, getting, a Um, hopefully a new look, because, um... I ran into a uh, shadow, and apparently Shadow has gotten a new look. Oh, that should be quite interesting to see. And also Knuckles. Uh, I'm guessing not. No, I'm talk when I'm talking about these characters. I'm talking about the normal ones. The o the only one that would be. Boom would be Sonic, because that's the one I'm technically supposed to be with, and it's only because of the fact that we're supposed to be raising our children, but... Yes, I heard how that went. Yeah, I don't know where our uh, second son is. Our first one, we all know how that disaster fire went. <sighs> oh, boy. So how's bringing, uh, bringing that, uh, I think it's Surge? I always get the two mixed yeah. up. So far, it's been a success. I was, and at the same time, a bit, a bit of a hassle, I say. 
I mean, why would you want to bring her back? I mean, didn't she betray you just like uh, Fiona betrayed Scourge? True. But if I bring her back with a more potent mind control, she was quite the, uh, uh quite the, hmm, how should I put it, efficient servant. Right. And then uh, there's that kit. Uh, I'm not sure what he is. He's a finick, a form of fox. Ah, uh, again, I've never met them, because again, I was in that Chaos Emerald. Indeed. This is only my second year of being out. <sighs> And it's kind of ironic because <sighs> that's when we started the. I started this trails journey, so. <laughs> mm-hmm. And again, I don't. I don't remember if you were. I think you came around. Uh, no, you actually were in the first one because you met the prince. Yeah, that... Olivert. Ugh, these names are just... Ugh. Mm-hmm. Well, now. It seems Reen can't really get out of his own look. No. We had to save him, um... Because he was losing control, and, uh... When we did end up saving him, his hair uh, couldn't change back, so he's uh, stuck with the hair. Yes, we can still go into the ogre form, but and it doesn't really make any difference. You can't tell the difference. Yep. I, I must admit, he looks a lot better with the gray hair. Than yeah. Dude. Yeah, um, there are also custom, um, hairs that you can get, um, if you beat, uh, certain monsters, uh, you can actually inquire different styles of hair for the characters. Oh. And some of them look good on, on them, while some of them look crap. Yes, hair color does the effect quite the... See, like, right there, um, Muse, who's normally supposed to have green hair, is, uh, having violet, a.k.a. purple hair. And see, there's another option, orange, or we can never have blonde. Now, the blonde fits a bit... Okay, now that, not really much. Uh, yeah, the blue hair, yeah, that's, um, that's her default hair, and then... And then, of course, uh, green. All right, so there's reddish, orange, or brown. And then Celine uh, doesn't get any. See there that it says that it's red, that that's red hair, but you see how bright it is. It looks more orange. And then Altina looks good um, with the blue hair. She she looks almost like Milliam, who who actually, you know, sacrificed herself at the end of the third game. <laughs> uh, yes, rumor about that. Then again, I suppose you have to give me closure just now. We're trying to. Uh, we're trying to prepare ourselves because apparently the um, the villains from every single game that we've uh, came across uh, is coming together to try to end the world. And I've been told by a certain hedgehog that the pro character is the turn. Yep. And, uh, the game and a lot of the 
characters in this franchise have forgiven him and he's still atoning for what he's done back in the first game. But you and I both know that I am not going to forgive him. Your hatred for Crow is beyond me. I like it. I mean, I... Yes, I'm willing to give people a chance, but if they're gonna, like, backstab, like what Crow did, and stuff like that, then, yeah, mm, mm, mm. I would say that I hate Crow more than Sonic and Shadow at this point. Oh yeah, we before I forget, we need to plan for our two year anniversary. Ah, just thinking a bit of a party. I'm not sure what kind of party or who would be invited. Right. <sighs> oh, yeah, I just remembered. Hmm? Uh part Take care. Uh, okay, I'm not gonna say it, but I'm just gonna say it. I bumped into Shadow the other day, and he was rather shocked to see me alive. But either way, yeah, I think a lot of people are gonna be surprised to see you because either some of them think that you're dead from because of the events of the comics, or they're going to be surprised because you haven't been around. It depends on the pe it depends on who you speak to, I guess. <laughs> yes, indeed. Regardless, my conversation with Shadow was quite interesting, and that was exactly how I found out that Crow remains alive. Yeah, because uh, he he was in a part a while back when uh, when. Uh, the, when they showed Crow on the screen. Yes. He also told me that he was quite suspicious of Crow in the first game when he was working with Class 7. Yes. I mean, so was I. I mean, things didn't add up with how he was acting and then how, how you know, he wasn't on screen when the quote-unquote C character was on screen, and and it's like, okay. You know, like, things didn't add up, so I had to put the pieces together, and I kind of figured a lot sooner that, that, it, that it was him, but I was kind of in denial, because I was trying to give him the benefit of the doubt. You know, like, Cause I didn't want to. I don't want to want to be like quick to judge and be like, "Oh, is this really him? Is he actually the villain? Is he the um, you know?" Because people misjudge uh, misjudge a lot of people. I mean, people have judged me. People have judged you. People have judged uh, Soka Doom and Metal Sonic and. And I felt like I needed to give give him a benefit of the doubt and and stuff like that, and so I so I did, and I kind of regret it because I knew that he was the, before the before the rest of the game did. I I figured that he was the oh yep, Milliam. <laughs> yeah, I mean, it still hurts. I mean, come on. She's a... She's a major part of Class 7 and has been the main focus on... Um, Hmm. 
But yeah. It's kind of tricky for me because of the fact of the matter is is that I don't want to be in too many relationships. And I haven't seen I haven't seen um I haven't visited Yukiko in a while. Um so I wonder how she's doing and I haven't I haven't checked up on Laura either. <laughs> I mean, you're the only one that, um, that I'm legally married to, and I'm, and that's not gonna change unless Sonic decides to. I mean, yeah, we only agreed that we're doing it for the, to raise the kid, but once the kid's out, we're, but... Uh, and that could be at any time, because I don't know how... I mean, because he's already grown up really quickly. And then on top of that, we ha Like I said, I haven't checked up on Laura or Yukiko, so I don't know how that relationship... How those relationships are going, and I ha gave up on, on Beerus, because uh, I can't get back into the DBZ universe... So, kind of gave up on that relationship. Again, I I wouldn't mind if it if it if it came down to it to where you're the only relationship I end up with. I mean, there's nothing wrong with that. <laughs> They've not. And I don't care what peop other people think. I mean, yeah, I get that you're a scientist and you're busy with experiments, but <laughs> but at least it all depends on exactly how busy. They are. Sometimes they are rather quick and can be done within an hour. Sometimes they take weeks. Right. They... Looks like we might have a visitor, finally. Huh. Hmm? Oh. It's been a while since we've seen you. Oh my. Yep. Alright. Uh, On the fourth. Yeah, we're uh, we're doing bonding um, bonding points right now, and we're trying to prepare ourselves because every single villain that we've came across it so far is gathering together to end the world. <laughs> yeah. So right now, that's what we're trying to do is. To prepare ourselves and get stronger for, um, so we can actually, you know, take down, um, take down the, um, the, 
the villains because of the fact of the matter is that we're not going to let them end the world. Mm -hmm. Again, I would rather it be destroyed and be able to be rebuilt and in mine and Starline's image, but the fact of the matter is, is that we gotta play as the hero, and ugh. Makes me sick, but uh, that's the point of the of these games. But anyway, how have you been? surprised in all due respect I have been annoyed by some snake that's been following around oh um I bo <sighs> yeah he showed up recently so we can blame Alistair for that one Like he's not going anywhere. Uh, soon. Yeah, because uh, we haven't figured out how to send him back yet. Uh, hello. Ah, Metal Sonic. Surprised you're still working on this. <laughs> yeah, well, this game's quite long, and then we have the uh, then we have the fifth game to go through. And here I thought you were doing a short game like how you uh, you and I have been doing. <laughs> I told you that that we were that doing a trails game eh, would take a lot of time. <laughs> if I recall correctly, the first. Yeah, that one was uh <laughs> the way that it looked and the graphics and the and the controls, yeah. But to be fair, that one was made for a handheld, you know, um a PS Vista. Obviously, the franchise got rather popular. Yeah, it got more popular, um, and uh, here in uh, in the West, and uh, and uh, then they decided to, you know what, we're gonna up the graphics and make the third, fourth, and fifth game made for um, with the PS4 in mind. Um, And then the, um, and then the next, and then that's the end of this saga. There's a new saga starting called, um, Trails Through Daybreak, and that one's coming out in, in a few months, um, with, um, even newer graphics. 
So, but sadly, that one's only going to have two games because the creator said that uh, it's easier to make um, to make a, a manga slash a- and anime instead of focusing on a game. So, the next saga is only have it's going to only have two games. I suppose it's understandable because games take a lot of programming, map making, and the big team, and making an anime not so much. Mm-hmm. Uh, oh well, it is what it is. It's like an offset deal like they did with. What is it called? It's not the first time that they done a done only two games in the franchise from from what I have uh, gathered with my information. Oh yeah, you're talking about the Crossbell games. Yeah. Which takes place um during the first two games of this, I believe. Mhm. The fir- um Trails from Zero, which is the first uh tr- um first Crossbell game takes place at the same time as um as a uh, Trails of Cold Steel 1. And then Trails to Azure takes place during the events of Trails of Cold Steel 2. And um, trail, Trails from Zero and Trails to Azure are known as the Crossbell duo, and those are the only two games in that in that saga. Oh, a flashback from the second game. <laughs> yeah, so apparently she fell in love with us when we when we saved her in that game. But unfortunately, I am going to be sticking to one person, and I've been sticking with Laura ever since the um, first game, so I'm not going to back out on the relationship now. Well, if I recall right, that's the one that Sonic had a crush on. Yep. And then he got devastated because in the second game she uh, confessed her love to the player, aka well, Reen, aka the player. And since I was the one playing the game, yeah. Yeah, he was curled in a ball, crying in a corner for literally, I think, six months. Well, it's one thing to have a heartbreaking waste of a crush, but there's another thing to do such as that after. Hey. But yeah. Good thing I don't have I don't have to deal with that situation. Ah, oh, speaking of Laura. <laughs> Ugh, let's just be grateful Sonic is here. Yeah, Sonic's, uh, supposed to be out on an adventure. As long as he's out of my way, I don't care what he does. You're Eggman's metal son, if I recall right. Was, but no, no longer since uh, Eggman has a uh, has a uh, pretty much passed because of old age. So I am the one running the empire now. Oh really? Well, that must be 
interesting, but then again, you get to work with fellow robots. So. Yeah, and I'm trying to get Omega, but <sighs> still no luck on him. I hardly doubt he's going to be switching because he's with G.O.N. and he hates uh, Eggman. Not to mention Shadow. How is this Shadow? Really something like this. It's hard to team dark. It's one of those, you want to get to Omega. You have to go through the rouge and shadow everything. Well, he's not the only one I'm trying to get. I'm trying to get Johnny and Whisker as well. But I can't get to the Soul Zone, and that's where they're at. So that's where my where my plan ended. If you want to get to the Soul Zone, you're going to have to wait for Silver and try to get to, and get him to take you that way. Oh, if it's Silver he wants, just head west. <sighs> well, hopefully he's not that far. <sighs> And there he goes. Another one of those come and go type. Hello, my boy. You seem to be quite reserved, or you're a bit shy. Which is it? I'm not. <laughs> I speak when only I wish to speak. Oh. Well, it looks like we just took down a monster. <laughs> yes. I was just definitely giving off the silly vibes. I don't like the, her hair, though. It, look at it. It's it's not the bright blue that she had that she normally has. It's it almost makes her look like 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 the hair is. It's supposed to be silver, apparently. Yeah, it could be like a blue, a light, like a extremely light blue. Or chrome. Yeah. I I prefer her in her in her dark blue hair. <laughs> I mean this this game does take place two years after the um after the second game, so the characters have aged. And apparently when we get to um get to the um fifth game it's supposed to take place um I think um two to four months after after this one, I think. Oh, 
But again, I could be wrong. Again, we haven't gotten to the fifth game yet. I do know that the um, when we get to Daybreak, though, that it's going to take place two years after um, after this game. So, <laughs> uh, I wonder if any characters that we know from here are going to show up there. I mean, if you remember that they keep mentioning Keldic and stuff like that. In Daybreak, that's where we're going. So, we'll be seeing uh, Keldic's point of view of, um, of these events, apparently, from what I've been told. That's why I'm a little concerned about, um, because it's supposed to be the beginning of a saga, that's why I'm a little concerned about it being only having two games. How can you wrap, uh, an entire saga in two games? Apparently, uh, th this one's gonna, the, the newer one's probably gonna be short, <laughs> depending on how long the, um, first and second game are, because we all know that these games are 80 hours long. <laughs> hey. Oh, yeah. And Reverie's gonna be our longest one with 100, 100 hours. <laughs> so... <sighs> and Reverie is supposed to be... was supposed to be Trails of Cold Steel 5, but because they... They added um, they added some scenes that are uh, to show off the next um, the next game, which is um, Daybreak. That's why they had to change it from Trails of Cold Steel Five to Reverie, <laughs> because Reverie is supposed to be the conclusion of uh, the Cold Steel Saga. Uh. In that case, I guess we're just gonna include this and then move on to something else that's partially related yet at the same time completely different characters. Uh, that's what uh, Daybreak is. Daybreak's gonna have completely new characters. There are supposed to be some characters from Cold Steel visiting, um, visiting, um, um, Keldic, apparently, from what I've been told, but they didn't say hope. I hope Laura's one of them, but I'm not gonna hold my breath. <laughs> Again, the de game developers know who it's gonna be because the game's already out in Japan. I hate it when they leave people in such a cliffhanger. Yep. Hey. If I recall right, your name was left on as a cliffhanger when Sonic Forces trailer came out. Mm-hmm. I really didn't know your name was Infinite until they started playing the game. Yep. And Mephilus was actually supposed to be in the... was supposed to be in the game, but he got removed. <laughs> yeah, I believe he was supposed to replace... Uh, he was supposed to replace Chaos... But unfortunately, that got repl he got replaced by Chaos, who, by the way, never got a fight. <clears throat> then again, biological sense of speaking, Chaos was still alive. Infamous <laughs> was not. 
I'm guessing Sega went more based on the fan basis when it came to Marvelous Dickens for life. Right. But to be fair, he's been he's been uh, around uh, he's been around, especially in the comics and uh, some other areas. Apparently, uh, like in mobile games. So who knows? And then, of course, there's the um, Sonic and X Shadow generations. And apparently Shadow's going to be getting his own uh, content, so who knows uh, what levels he's going to get, what rivals he's getting. Oh, that would be interesting. Yeah, that would be interesting to see. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and it's supposed to come out this fall, so I'm wondering, I'm wondering who's gonna, like, I'm also curious on the mods, like, are the mods going to be still available and working, or are, are people gonna have to make new mods for, um, for this game? <laughs> Eggman. How did he get here? He was he's supposed to be dead. I don't mind that. It's just an Eggman thought I was working on, but Ah. Uh. Uh, I made it as like a little toy for her. Uh. her hatred for Eggman. I thought it'd be more like it's almost like a punching bag. Right. Unfortunately, I haven't really worked out all the kinks in the event. It just occasionally laughs for some reason. <laughs> yeah, you're gonna have to fix it. Okay, so we're spending time with Toa. Toa's not that bad bad um and stuff like that I don't mind her it's just I don't I don't see I don't see it I don't see a relationship with her I mean it's not like she's the most yeah, I mean, Again, nothing wrong. With relationship with. I mean, I'm not like my ex father, who you know married us. I'm not like him, who likes to have multiple relationships and multiple marriages. I'm. I'm more like. Yeah, I might, I might have like one or two, but. Huh. And you're my main one. Looks like we may get another visitor. Oh. Hello. Who best? Oh, wait. Uh, how are you doing? Very well. Though I believe someone's looking for me. Uh, I think it. I'm. I'm not sure if it's you or the other silver, because you got to remember, there's two silvers in this timeline. Yes, 
quite Yeah. Metal Sonic's uh, looking to get to the Soul Zone, so I think it's the other silver he's looking for. <laughs> Well, yeah. Again, I don't know if yeah, this. Silverwind West. That's what he. That's what uh, Starline told him. So hopefully he's been able to. Because Metal's trying to, you know, continue the um, Eggman Empire since Eggman past. Oh, why am I not surprised? Right? But yeah, how have you been, Silver? Is he? Clearly. Haven't seen you in quite a while. Well, I've been doing a lot. A lot. Trying to get back to your time, I'm guessing. Yes. Any luck? No. <laughs> I mean, how did you and your son get here anyway? Like, did you guys use a ship or teleport or what? Trans-dimensional ring. Hmm. And I'm guessing the ring doesn't work anymore? Oh, don't go saying that so fast. This one is able to be used... I believe... Ten more times? So, why haven't you been able to use it? Our mission here is not over yet. Ah. Uh. It looks like we're going to be ending it here since we finished up all of the bonding points, bonding events. Um, so, sorry if uh, we're not really getting action, but we needed to get the bonding point, the bonding points uh, finished. Um, so next time we'll hopefully be able to do more, you know, like action and advance the story, I hope. So why don't you guys sign off? It is a silver signing off. Yes, yes, this is Dr. Starline signing off. This is in and this is Nazo signing off. Thank you guys again for watching. Make sure you comment, rate, subscribe. Turn on notifications so you don't miss a video from me. And I'll see you guys next time for more Trails of Cold Steel 4. Goodbye, everyone.